Well, good morning, everyone. It's another Monday morning, but an exciting Monday morning because today is June 21st, and it is the first day that AHIP has launched for plan year 2022. So uh, with that said, just know that there will probably be some bumps and bugs and all sorts of stuff happening today as everybody's grappling to get into the uh, AHIP 2022 uh, modules and tests. Uh, I know some of you have already blocked off most of your day to to accomplish the AHIP, so really proud of you guys for taking the time to get that done. Um, you know, that's the big one for the year. You know, once you have AHIP behind you, I think I hear a general sigh of relief <laughs> from everybody once we get all that done. So. Um, absolutely go ahead and mark your calendars and, and get ready for AHIP. And we're going to talk about a few things today in regards to AHIP. But just as a reminder, as we're starting the, uh, our calls pretty much every week now, just a, a reminder of why we are here. It's our mission, guys. It's our mission to improve the lives of our community with affordable health care. And this is how we do it. Okay. So the main objective here is, is educate our, our neighbors uh, our community on what's best for them, and and um, we need to know what's happening in 2022. So um, all the trainings and certifications and everything that we're about to go through, it's not because we love torturing you, um, although some carriers might find some enjoyment in that. <laughs> uh, it's because this is for your clients. This is for your prospects. This is for the community, and so your knowledge base on you learning all of these things is extremely important to what we do out there in the community. So knowledge is power, guys, but power for our community and making sure that they're making the right decisions on their health care. All right. So with that, like I always like to start the call, let's start with some training. Um, again, as you know, today AHIP came out or it's coming out today, so you can log back into your AHIP. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Last week, we talked about, you know, general practices on getting ready for AHIP on, um, you know, logging in on, on the certifications. And, and then we're going we're gonna to talk about, um, you know, taking the AHIP today and, and what you need to do um, in order to get uh, through that AHIP. And, and thanks to Tom, he put together a great little study guide for us that we're going to go through as well, just so you guys are on the same page. Um, so today... At 11 o'clock, Devoted is having their broker coffee and chat session. That's at 11 o'clock, so you can jump on that as well if you have any specific questions. Although our very special guest this morning, Ms. Jeanette Velez, will answer a lot of those questions and probably have a few updates for you uh, when I hand the mic over to her in just a few minutes. Um, but if you need some additional help, they are doing their, their coffee and chat sessions weekly, so just make sure you're jumping on those. Uh, tomorrow, the 22nd at noon, Humana is doing their Go365 training. So if you need some more information on those benefits, on, on what to do for your Go365, how does it work, what does that program look like, that is tomorrow at noon. Moving on to Wednesday this week at noon, Centene is doing their new agent training session. And um, that's for your well care agents. Um, but it's in general, so Centene, if you're selling pretty much any other type of product out there, whether it's All Well or Ascend Complete, you know, these, this new agent training is there to help you. So you can jump on that training at noon on Wednesday. At 5 o'clock as well on Wednesday, the Ascend platform uh, is coming out, but you guys are really not going to need to use that because HPM Shop is rolling out next week. Um, some of you may be contacted to beta test or, or get your profile set up. So uh, if you hear from Jonathan, that's probably why. Um, so you really don't need to attend all these different trainings anymore on the platforms because we've simplified it for you. Thursday the 24th, we've got some big events happening already. So at 10 o'clock on the 24th, Jacksonville, if you're in the Jacksonville market um, or you do business in the Jacksonville market, Devoted is rolling out their 2022 rollout session. Um, and Jeanette's going to talk about what's in that rollout today. Um, that's at the Cinemark um, at, in Jacksonville at 10 o'clock on Thursday. 
Also on Thursday at 11 a.m., Humana is doing a training on how to do direct mail and Facebook to increase your traffic, your leads, and your conversions. That's at 11 o'clock on Thursday. Great training there. At 11.30, Devoted is doing their broker coffee and chat session in Jacksonville. Again, it's kind of the same concept. Um, just call in and check beforehand because they're doing an event at 10 o'clock that same day, so they, they may not be at that, that coffee and chat session in Jacksonville. Um, and then moving on to Thursday at 3 o'clock, Humana is doing their veteran training, uh, VA Healthcare and Medicare. How does that all work? Um, some of you are veterans or no veterans and VA benefits. Um, if you know and understand on how that integrates with Medicare, Medicare Advantage plans, um, you are be you are going to become a very valuable resource in the community. So take a look at that training and uh, get up to speed on how you can help your vets. And then last training of the week on Friday the 25th at 10 a.m. We've got another uh, devoted uh, rollout session for 2022 benefits, and that's at the AMC in Orange Park on the south side of Jacksonville, and that's at 10 a.m. on Friday. Um, I'm not sure if, if these are, are better attended in person or if there's a virtual, so um, we'll have Jeanette talk about that and how you can join these rollout sessions um, in, in your market. So with that said, just remember, guys, always have one foot in the classroom and the other one in the field at all times, whether you've been doing this business for one day or one decade. Uh, it's really important that we stay on, on top of all these training sessions on, on what's going on. Okay, now talking about AHIP, jump, jumping over real quick. Um, the AHIP is out now. You're going to start receiving your AHIP links from the carriers where you will get your discount. So remember, uh, traditionally, all the carriers give you a $50 discount. If you go directly to AHIP, you're going to pay $175. If you use one of the carrier links, then you can get in there and it's $125 versus $175. And so that'll save you about 50 bucks on your AHIP test. Um, one thing to keep in mind too is those those email links are going to be sent in your, um, or those links to your AHIP are going to be sent to your email. So whoever you did your AHIP with last year most likely has everything already set up by now. Um, but the first one that I did see last week was from Health First. So that particular link is ahipmedicaretraining.com backslash clients backslash health first. So again, that's ahipmedicaretraining.com backslash clients backslash health first. They have the discount link already available. But I'm sure you're going to see all sorts of discount links today. Um, and as they start rolling out, you're going to want to click through those links to get your automatic $50 discount. Okay. So with that, I'm going to take a few minutes here and I'm going to talk about AHIP best practices. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. If I can pull everything up. Okay, I've got my AHIP. And there we go. So um, let's see, we're going to go ahead and start from the top here. Um, so AHIP 2022, thanks to Tom, he, he went ahead and he put this together for us. Uh, that way we have a little guide on what to do and what's best practices here. So um, AHIP is broken up into modules. Every, um, those of you that have taken it in the past, uh, it's about five different segments on AHIP. And so what you want to do is you want to save the slides from each of the segments. And um, you can do this before each segment. It's going to be on the left-hand side, and it's going to show you slides. And then you can download the slides. And the slides have everything in the module. So you can save those slides and then go back without having to be online and log in. And you can use those as a study guide. Okay? You can save them in a PDF file. Um, I think they actually come in a PDF file, so it's really easy to, to, to have all of the segments and the entire module at your fingertips. Okay? The compliance info is good for the exam and for reference for all um, you're doing through 2022 next year. So pay attention to compliance. Um, there's always compliance questions throughout the test as you're going through this. So just make sure you're paying attention to the compliance. 
And please, please, please read the slide information. But most importantly, as you're reading this, if you're not understanding it, if you're not grasping the concept, talk to us. We're here to help you. We're here to make sure that you understand the information backwards and forwards. Because how can you educate your clients if you don't fully understand the concepts? And don't be embarrassed to ask for help. We're here. We've been doing this a long time. Uh, I'm not going to say I know all the answers, um, but I do know folks that may have the answers to help us. So just keep in mind that, that yes, you can read through the AHIP. Um, the last thing you want to do is clicky, 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 and then take the test. Because that gets a lot of you guys in trouble, especially, especially my veterans that think they know everything. <laughs> okay, slow down, read the information, digest the information, and understand the information. That is most important. So that way you can educate um, your clients as you're going out into the field. Okay, at the end of each segment, there's a test. Make sure you take all of the chapter tests. Uh, once you, once you uh, take your test, your, your quiz, your module quiz, um, at the end of it, it's going to show you the answers. Okay? So that way you can go back and say, wait, I got that question wrong. Um, and then you can, you can take the best practices is take your answers and you're going to put those into a Word file and you're going to create a separate Word file for each of your segments. Um, those questions and answers from all, seg uh, all sections together uh, make a pretty large file, so you, so you just want to break it up um, and, and maybe have separate Word files for each segment. So, you know, Module 1, Module 2, Module 3, and that way you can use that as a study tool and a study guide for the exam, okay? Um, in a Word file, what's, what's really helpful is, is if they're asking you about Part D, for instance, um, you, you can search for Part D in a Word file. It makes it very easy. Um, so you just, you just uh, search, uh, click search, and then you can find Part D, and it's much easier to find that information so you can study. Um, the search tool can help you when you're trying to remember a specific question. Um, and then that way you can take a look at, look at it and make sure you're getting the, the correct answers on all of that. Okay? Now, as you're taking the exam, okay, so this is the final exam. You've done all your, you've downloaded your slides, you went through all the modules, you read the modules, you took each quiz at the end of each module, you passed those quizzes, and then you've saved those, those questions, the study uh, that you took on the quiz, and now you're ready for the final exam, okay? So please make sure that you review and have all your study materials available before you begin your exam, okay? So go back, go through the slides again, go through your exams, know the questions, study the ones you got wrong, and then you're ready to take the exam. Okay, now as you're taking the exam, once you hit submit, or your time runs out, this does count as an attempt. And remember, you only get three attempts. I'm going to cover that in just a minute. Um, so once you hit submit or you run out of time, this counts as an attempt. Um, the other thing that I've seen happen is somebody loses power. Your, your laptop goes down or there's a surge. And uh, I've seen that count as an attempt. So make sure you got a battery backup or, or your laptop's powered up properly before you <laughs> try to take this test. Uh, the test is going to take you about an hour. Some folks, an hour and a half, I think they give you 90 minutes. Um, but just make sure that you watch that clock because it is a timed test. All right, write down the number of all the questions you're not sure of, and then you can go back with any extra time that you have at the end. So go through the test. Answer the ones you're like, yes, I know this answer. It's, it's A, whatever. You go through the test and, and maybe you're unsure of a few questions. Come back to those questions. Don't waste your time, you know, second guessing yourself. Go through the test and then come back and answer those questions. All right. Another pro tip uh, Tom has pointed out. If you find when you're taking the exam that there are too many questions that you don't feel confident about, um, you can terminate the exam. You can exit the exam before the time limit is reached, and it will not count as one of your three attempts. So this is something new that I learned, is that you can actually exit the test if you're like, I'm not ready for this. Okay, so if you studied, if you rushed through it, um, and then when you got to the test and you're going through it and you're like, I don't feel good about this, 
um, you can go ahead and exit the test uh, before your time limit has, has passed, and it will not count as one of your exam uh, attempts. Remember, you only get three times, okay? Now, real quick on that. Uh, yes, you can, if you, if you do not pass on the third time, you can purchase AHIP again. This is called AHIP 2, and you get another three attempts. You will not get a second discount, so you'll have to pay 175 all over again. And then you'll get three attempt, three additional attempts. But I will caution you: not every carrier accepts a HIP two as part of your certification. Okay. Um, so, moral of the story is: is we've got to get you passed before the third attempt. Okay. Now, moving on to the the last slide here, um, and just as a reminder, guys, everyone that sells health insurance for Medicare, Medicare Advantage, has to take this test. Okay. Um, there's a few exceptions to the rule, but there are hundreds of agents in Central Florida and thousands of agents in Florida in general and tens of thousands of agents across the country that take and pass AHIP every year, and you can too. Okay, So you have the confidence to do it. You have the team behind you. Um, it's very important. If you do not pass the exam on your first attempt, please call us and ask for study help, okay? I can tell you that uh, some of the agents are meeting at the office today and they are getting together to do a study group um, and then they're gonna go off on their way and take their tests, okay? Um, if you need help, you're not alone. I do not recommend taking the test more than once if you do not pass it. If you take the, we want you to take the test on your own the first time and if you do not pass it on your first attempt, please contact HPM. Please let us know so we can um, get you the study help that you need. Okay? So, um, with that said, uh, I just want to wish everyone a fantastic testing day today for AHIP. Um, I do hope that you guys take advantage of that. Um, all right. Our special guest, Ms. Jeanette Velez, is on the line from Devoted Healthcare. Jeanette, can you hear us? Hi, good morning, everyone. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being on the call this morning. Thank you for having me. Always. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm super excited. I know you mentioned the uh, broker rollouts for us. We are coming out a bit uh, early. Uh, I would love to see you guys here. Uh, our first one is July 13th from 9 to 1030. Uh, we're going to have breakfast, lunch, and snacks at the end of the day. So we have uh, 9 to 10.30, 12 to 1.30, 3 to 4.30 on the 13th, and then on the 20th, the same time. Uh, it's going to be at the Crown Plaza downtown. All of our providers will be there with tables. There's going to be giveaways, lots of stuff and goodies for you guys. I'm very excited about our benefits for 2022. We've changed our dental. We've changed... Um, our give back, we've changed uh, our um, eligibilities for our DSNIP. We've changed, we've changed a lot of stuff and added a lot of great benefits. We're going to be super competitive this year. I'm looking forward to having all of you there. And anyone that's not RTS with us, please get, uh, please get appointed. You're welcome to come. Um, we're we're very we're very happy about this our new benefits for 2022. We're going to have seminars. If anybody's interested in doing seminars in all the markets, uh, Tampa, Polk, uh, Hillsboro, Pinellas, um, Jacksonville. I know Jamie's doing a lot of um, seminars with with brokers as well. So you know our community outreach specialists are here to help you. We um, we will be in the community doing events for AEP as well. So please look to us for AEP support if you're new and can't get in front of people. Um, Devoted will simply help you do that. So um, thank you, and please call me. My phone number is 407-430-5322. That's 407-430-5322 for any questions that you might have. And we look forward to having you. Well, that was short and sweet, and I'm not going to let you off that easy. 
<laughs> well, so, and thank you. And, and guys, just so you know, I'm going to send out Jeanette's contact information to everyone on the call, um, as well as the dates that she mentioned for the training. Um, so just so you guys know, um, we'll be sending that out to you in the email. And it's always going to be on the training calendar as well. And thank you to Tom for keeping us up to date on those training calendars. Um, and Jeanette, I, and I just want to say a few things. You know that De Devoted is one of our premier products at, at Health Plan Markets, and you guys have been, you guys are the fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan in Florida and possibly in other areas of the country. Um, and, and it's no surprise, guys. I mean, if you look at what they're doing, they're doing all the things that they should be doing as a health plan, and they're doing it with the very intention and focus on brokers like yourself. Um, so if there's anything that you would say to the brokers today, Jeanette, if they could do it today, what, what should they know about Devoted right now? Uh, well, we, uh, first of all, you know, we have our insulins at zero. Um, we have unlimited dental costs on our dual eligible plan, uh, SLMB, QMB are eligible for our dual plan. Um, we have comprehensive dental in addition to um, dental. All the preventive dental is zero cost and all the plans except for their give back. And then you can add 2,000 comprehensive dental to the core, the prime plan. And, of course, our DSNP is unlimited dental cost. Uh, you, we have a PERS device, which is super popular this year. And it's going to change from next year, which is even going to be better. A personal response device is available on all four plans, GPS enabled. We have flat co-pays for hearing aids. Um, for both hearing aids, you can actually get a pair of hearing aids at zero cost if you are a MediMedical. And um, we also have the preventive devoted dollars where they can go get the preventive measures and get a $25 gift card, up to $135 a year. Um, and our service is amazing. Our service guides are absolutely amazing. Um, they can call and um, a one-stop resolution, a one-call resolution. Uh, we don't have limits on how long we can stay on the phone with our members. We treat our members like family. We go above and beyond for our clients, and that is truly, that is our mission, and, and we truly uh, take care of that. We're not perfect, but every we really try to um, take care of the members the best way they can. So if you're looking for great service, a plan that knows what they're doing, um, um, you feel confident that you can place them with Devoted, and that you can continue to write business and not have to worry that your client's going to call into the plan and and get some wrong information and things like that. You can feel confident that your client can call the plan. So I feel confident. And, again, we have sort of an internal Facebook that we kind of tag everyone if something's happening with, the, with your client so the whole entire company can see and pick up any issues that are going on. So it's really important to have that service. Um, we have um, Orlando Health, Advent Health. We have Orlando Health Primaries and uh, Advent Health Primaries as well and specialists. So our network's pretty good. We're continuing with the Liberty Network for next year for our dental. And our dental is going to change certain things that we didn't have this year, we're going to have next year. So I'm really looking forward to um, um, what the uh, changes are. We're only going to get better and better. And the vote is going to be going to be a force to reckon with here very soon. <laughs> so um, that's it. That's that's what we have right now. So if you have any questions, give me a call. Real real quick before before we let you go, Jeanette. Um, so the, just in the last few minutes here. Um, I always like to talk about marketing, and, you know, I can tell you guys, if you're out there in the community or if you're looking for community events, Devoted has a hands-on approach when it comes to, uh, comes to their, their marketing. 
Um, their community liaisons are going out, finding events, connecting with the physicians, working with their reps to create and generate leads. Um, they're sponsoring events. They're doing seminars. Um, they're out there, uh, you know, in the in, in helping with the food pantries, donation. Um, you know, I've seen one event where we got 80 leads. Uh, your consent to contact is brilliant. The, the lotto ticket <laughs> idea is absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, and and then and then looking into your your broker portal where they can go and and create their own marketing pieces and launch their own marketing pieces. Um, you know, I think you guys are doing everything. I mean, you're checking all the boxes on the things that we need as brokers. Um, you know, and, and again, I, I push all of you guys to go out and understand what type of marketing uh, arsenal you have with Devoted. But was there anything else that I missed, Jeanette, that, that they might need to know about how Devoted's doing the marketing? No, um, you pretty much hit it on the head. The one thing that our COSs or our community outreach specialists do, they're licensed, and they can talk about benefits, and they're very well experienced at teeing up the client, making sure they do the short needs analysis while they're there. And we have an incredible amount of sales on the spot because of that. It's, we're not collecting leads. We're not scheduling appointments. We're selling them on the spot. Um, so that is something unique, I think, to most community outreach specialists that they just know how to tee it up for you. But essentially, they're just saying, here, I already did the needs analysis. Just write them up. So um, yeah, you, you, we, hit you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you hit on something really, really strong. So, you know, um, one of our core missions at Health Plan Markets is to eliminate any obstacle that would prevent you from writing business, Right. And one of the things we work on is how do we prospect and sell efficiently? Because it's my goal that all you do is you wake up in the morning as, as an HPM advisor and you go out and you write business. You don't have to prospect. You don't have to, you know, hunt down leads. Those are all time-consuming um, activities. Um, although we still have to do it. It's just the nature of our business. But what Jeanette's saying is, is Devoted has team members that go out and bird dog for you, meaning they find somebody. They explain the benefits, and they pretty much go through a full presentation for you, and then all you have to do is button it up and then enroll them. That's pretty incredible. Um, no other company out there is taking that much on to help the agent. So very, very unique. And, and um, I didn't even know that, Jeanette. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, it's, uh, our community outreach specialists are – or we, we, we pay them pretty well, plus we give them commission. Um, so they are very motivated to make sure that you get a sale at the event. Uh, so that's one reason, and they're very supportive of of all of the brokers. I mean, we work with tons of brokers. We do events with brokers. We give tabletops to brokers. We, um, and we're also, one thing that's unique about us here, too, is our provider engagement. So I meet with our providers every two weeks, our core anchor providers every two weeks, and those that are also not at risk yet, right? So we try to get them to risk. So we try to meet with them, figure out what opportunities are there. Do they have any commercial book of business that they can uh, reach out to and um, try to get them to come to the clinic? Most of these providers have, uh, you know, turning 65 in their own backyard every single day. Every provider that has a commercial book of business, I and mean, we're just finding these unique opportunities with our providers. So we're, our providers tell us that we are the only plan that is so engaged with them, <laughs> um, and they love it. They love it. So um, not only do we do community stuff, but we're also engaged with the providers. And I recently assigned a provider to one of your reps, uh, Dustin. Oh, uh, so we have a new doctor group called the Village MD. Um, they're very unique, and they are partnering up with Walgreens all across the country. Um, if you look up Village MD and Walgreens, the Village MD is going to be have real estate inside of the Walgreens. So they're oh, building out. 
they're building out providers' offices within Walgreens. So wow. we have a few offices already that are open, and these guys are going to kill it uh, at the Walgreens. So um, that is another opportunity. We just had them and got them in network. We're planning to have lunch with them next week. I'm sorry I can connect with Nick on that. Um, but that's going to be a huge opportunity. Um, they're, they're all across the country, not just here. So I know you have agents everywhere, but if you just Google them mm-hmm. <laughs> along with Walgreens, you'll see the story. It's incredible. So uh, we just got them in that work. We're consistently and constantly looking for great provider groups that know this business, that are risk models. And we're just, we just grow with them in order for us to be profitable and a plan, um, that's going to stay around is to, you know, partner up with these providers that know the risk model. Uh, also, we're trending five stars. I don't know what our star rating is going to be, but I can actually look at our star rating. That's how transparent this company is. I can look at right. our star rating and see what's happening. So right. there's a lot of fives on there. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. But yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for our star rating to come up. Absolutely, and and guys, just so you know, we have we, you know we brought on Nick, uh, Nick Street, who is our um, our director of provider relations and business development. So Nick has been helping us with the relationships with the doctors. And so if you do have a doctor that's interested in adding devoted, shoot it over to Nick, and Nick will work with Jeanette on on trying to get these doctors loaded as well. So it could be mom and pop, and then we have to hook them up with an IPA. Or um, it could be a group. It, it all depends on you know what's happening and, and if they're in the market. So um, the fact that they're looking for more doctors is a very promising sign because that means membership is coming. So um, and like Jeanette said, if they're trending five stars, you want to be ready and know this product because going into AEP, if you've got a five star plan, you're going to want to have that ready and available. You don't want to be scrambling and figuring out you know what to do with Devoted and how to sell the product. You want to be pretty familiar with it. So. Uh, Jeanette, again, thank you very much for being on the call today. We really appreciate your time and help and, and attention. And I personally thank you for taking care of our team. I know you go above and beyond for for what I've seen and, and what I've heard from all of our brokers. So thank you again for that. Um, and um, and we look forward to offering Devoted this year. And everyone else, um, get ready. It's AHIP. AHIP is today. Go get that done. <laughs> Yeah, so we can go and, and get our devoted training when it rolls out, and, and then we'll be good to go for 2022. So um, thank you guys for being on the call today. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us. I did put Jeanette's contact information in the chat as well, but if you need to reach her, you can reach out to us, um, and uh, we'll connect you. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye now.